Now to new developments tonight in the search for Relisha Rudd. Tough words today from Mayor Vincent Gray as Police Chief Kathy Lanier reveals new details on the investigation. Jennifer Donnellan is live in Southeast with what we learned today. Jen. Well, Ken is taking a look at where Relisha Rudd was living. Just yards away from me off camera is the D.C. jail. Adjacent to it is a methadone clinic. And behind me is the D.C. family homeless shelter. There are children everywhere all day long. Good place to raise a child. The mayor says no. It is not a place that a child should be raised. Uh, clearly, D.C. Mayor Vincent Gray today on the D.C. General Family Homeless Shelter, where eight-year-old Relisha Rudd lived with her mother and brothers, where she met janitor Khalil Tatum, who police had abducted her, and one of the last places she was seen alive more than a month ago. I'd like to close D.C. General. I'd like to close, but but Mike, before you. you We've got to be able to have a place where people can go in crisis. Go, they would have to provide somewhere else for us to go. If not, look how many families and kids will be literally out on the street. This mother lives at the shelter with her five-year-old son. He went to school with Rudd. What did y'all used to do? Play and be friends. You miss her? The mayor said plans are in the works to move 500 homeless families in 100 days into housing. That, when as Police Chief young, Kathleen Lanier was asked on WTOP of, today um, about the possibility the girl may be the victim of yeah. child sex yeah. trafficking. So we are exploring all of those avenues. We have actually experts on our team that have been leading this investigation from our um, child exploitation task force that works with the FBI. Tatum killed himself. His body was discovered in Kenilworth Park a week and a half ago with no signs of the little girl. Her grandmother and aunt provided these two pictures today to ABC 7 News. They told us Tatum bought Rudd the dress and sweater last November for her to wear this coming Easter. The women are asking the public if anyone finds the clothing discarded that might help in the search for Relisha, a disappearance that has so many families on edge. You feel safe having your five-year-old here? I mean, it's the safest yeah. I can go. It's safer than the street. Now, the family says Relisha Rudd's grandmother and aunt both say that that clothing may have been thrown out in the traps inside a Burlington Coat factory bag. Uh, today, police chief Lanier said that the department is receiving on average about five tips a day. And they're following through on everything. Reporting live from Southeast, I'm Jennifer Donnellan, ABC 7 News.